Hey everybody, it's Nathaniel and my beautiful wife Ashley. And in case y'all are new to the channel, I am a full-time reseller and Ashley is a full-time pharmacy technician. And as a lot of y'all know, um, some of y'all know, um, Ashley has been a little bit under the weather and she was sick almost, well yeah, through Christmas. And I was sick the week before but I am doing a lot better. Uh, Ashley is doing much better. Um, she's not, she still has a little bit of issues going on, but she's, uh, the weakness is not there anymore where when you get a cold. Just wanted to get on here and give everybody a quick update. And I know I hadn't made a whole lot of video content on here. It's been a busy season, which you all know. And speaking of busy season, I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas. And I hope you all have a very happy new year to come. Um, 2022 is going to be big for us. It's going to be real big for us. Yep. We're going to have a turkey in 2022. <laughs> Actually, we're going to have a baby potato. <laughs> <laughs> a really big potato. A baby potato. We're going and to keep on the lookout because soon we'll be doing a gender reveal. Yep. We're going to be doing a gender reveal soon. Maybe on New Year's. I think so, that's a great idea. Yep. So... Y'all stick around, and we're actually going to go get something to eat. We don't know what we're going to eat yet, but no. we're going we're gonna to take you along for the drive. I hope y'all enjoy. And I, I haven't been in a lot of chats. Everybody, um, I miss all the chats and positive things from all the other YouTubers out there. And just been, like I said, this time of season has been really busy. Update on eBay. My eBay store is now absolutely down to zero, and I'm gonna put that up there so y'all can see. There's zero items left, so come January, I'm gonna start listing, and I'm going. I think I'm gonna keep five items per day going, and I don't know. We'll see. I have no clue how I'm gonna do it or what I'm gonna do, but <laughs> I'm gonna do it and. Y'all gonna come along for the ride, so we're gonna find something to eat and I'll come right back at you. Alright, we figured out, well, she figured out where we're going. Technically, baby figured out where we're going. Yep. <laughs> and what the baby wants, the baby gets. I don't know about that. It's gonna but, be a spoiled but, baby. Yeah, well. Spoiled baby rotten potato. <laughs> spoiled rotten baby potato. <laughs> Alright. Well, I, I do spoil it now, yeah, I have to say. But it kind of rules the roost too. <laughs> yeah. Rules me anyway. Well, what we had the other day was pretty good, but I, I guarantee you this one's going to be better. What, the meatloaf? Yeah. Yeah, she, she's craving meatloaf, folks. Listen. Yeah. Potatoes, I, I meatloaf, anything meat. Meat. And she I, usually does, not a big I, fan. Like hamburgers, she don't. I'm not a huge hamburger fan, but she man. She probably ever this, ate hamburgers. And ever now. since I've been pregnant, I eat at least a hamburger or two a week. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what it just, a hamburger and french fries or meatloaf and mashed potatoes. I don't know. Yeah. Baby likes it. And I don't know. Somebody comment down below. I know that there's a wives tell about if you crave savory, what gender it is. And if you crave sweets, what gender it is. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, sweets and me do not get along. So, yeah, y'all comment down to below what that wise tale is. I mean, I've had some cookies here and there. And come New Year's, and we'll Danish, find out. But, yeah, because we already know. We do? Yep. I don't know. Yes, you do. Okay, I know. Yes. We I'll give y'all a hint. Just one. It's a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. it, it, it's a baby. Oh, and we did get our, I will say this, we got both genetic tests back, the big one and the carrier one, and they all came out negative, which is wonderful, blessed news. Yeah, that was awesome. Yes. Woo woo. Woo woo. Ka -ka. <laughs> so, yep, we are going to Cracker Barrel, and I wonder why they call it Cracker Barrel. Crackers in a barrel. There's that new um, fireworks place on the Aiken Augusta oh, Highway yeah. called <laughs> Carolina Crackers. <laughs> Sorry. Yep. 
Y'all want some fireworks, folks? Get down to Carolina, Carolina Crackers. crackers. <laughs> <laughs> because when you started saying about Cracker Barrel, I'm like, I wonder if the people that named them named that place. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Cracker Barrel, and you got Carolina Crackers. Yep. Speaking it's of crackers, now my favorite cracker, and I don't I don't eat a lot of crackers, but if I do eat a cracker, it's a rich cracker, not sponsored. Um, and <laughs> I like those. Uh, but if Nabisco, isn't it Nabisco that makes Ritz? I, I believe so. Well, if Nabisco wants to sponsor us, hit us up. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but uh, I love those. Uh, what do you call them? Hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> Hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres. But I call them hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> but um, I like those, you know, those summer sausages. Love, love, love them. Hickory and Farms. Hickory Farms, yeah. You got the... Uh, sweet Hot Mustard. Yep. I like the Sweet Hot Mustard. He's not a huge fan of the Sweet Hot Mustard. Oh, yeah, I like it. I like getting a bigger bottle. That way there's enough. Because that little bitty little tiny jar to give you a little sets, it's just not enough. Don't but. eat the crackers in those sets. Yeah, them the, crackers are disgusting. Throw them away. They taste like uh, roof shingles. And if you don't like cutting them up and cutting up the cheese, they have these little platters at uh, Sam's Club. the Walmart or, or Walmart. Sam's Club. And they're already portioned out, but it has like three tubes of crackers in the middle. Just throw them away or give or, them to somebody yeah, else or, or give them to your animals. <laughs> or maybe feed them to the ducks. Yeah, I feed don't them know to if the ducks. ducks can eat crackers. Give I them know. to your goats. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even think about that. We could have gave them to the goats. Yeah, we should have gave them to the goats. And that's what oh, we'll do next man. time. Oh, well, this well when we go, uh, and, and those are awesome because they're already cut up. The cheese is cut up. I mean, it's ready to go. I just take them crackers out and replace it with some <laughs> good old rich crackers, and get my bottle of spicy hot mustard out and go to town. And also, you can get some olives. You can get them in the little uh -huh. small little things and add to it. Makes it wonderful. And um, what else? Yeah, we had one where they had black olives in it, but they weren't briny. No, they wasn't that great. I mean, I love olives, so I mean, I'm not. Yeah, I'm, they got olives that comes in these little applesauce looking containers. They're exactly and, like applesauce yeah, containers. And you just get one of those. I mean. Well, you get it in a four pack, and then everybody can have their own pack. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. But I like green olives with pimentos. Because you know how I eat them? I suck out the pimento first, and then I eat the olive. <laughs> <laughs> <Eat the olive. laughs> I've always done that. My, my sister used to make. Um, uh, cream cheese and olives. I know that sounds disgusting, but she would cut up olives because she didn't want to buy them all the way already cut up, and she would mix them in with cream cheese. And I know Terry watches the videos. Shout out to my sister Terry. <laughs> it was so good, and she put it on Ritz crackers. You know, and I've made it before. It don't taste as good as hers. Hmm. I think it's because she made it. She put the love in it. Yeah, try hers. We'd have to go all the way to Maryland. That's true. <laughs> Don't worry, she's coming back for the birth of the baby. Yay! You gonna have her make some? <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm gonna be completely honest. When this baby comes out, the last thing I'm gonna be thinking about yeah, is worrying about those. cream cheese and olives. <laughs> you got that right. Okay, I'm gonna tell you now, the first thing I'm gonna say is, honey, go get me a Mountain Dew. Yeah. A Mountain Dew, so you're gonna be ready for that caffeine. Um, also, um, those lighters, you know, we had that uh, Christmas. And we're, I'm going to get another one. We're going to do it again for New Year's. So I might show you some of that. But it is, that stuff's good. Well, it looks like we're here. Almost. Well, red light got us. And the temperature here? 75 degrees. 75 degrees on the 28th of December. And it is it, it's crazy last it's, week was freezing cold and this week it's hot and they wonder why people get sick and that's exactly there's a lot of people around this area getting sick probably all over but it's it, when you wake up in the morning and it's 30 degrees and in the evening time it's 75 however the last few mornings it's been like 50 not even not yeah. more than that yeah about 60 70 i was gonna say degrees. you went out without a jacket which means it's not yeah. cold yeah I, I'm usually bundled up when this time of year, but I don't know. Well, we're going to get parked and situated, and we're going to go get some yummy, yum, yum. What's that? 
because it'll get set. Which one? This is Denver Crab. Wait for a Mini wooden hammer tool. What is it? Hoopery. Hoopery. Dapper Crapper. Burger, but it's a basket made in China. I mean, it's an authentic Manitula basket, which no. we pronounce in America made in China. Nope, it's called Get G E T yes. hand woven. Get hand woven. It, it's not, it's plastic. Yeah. It's pretty neat. That's what the utensils came in. Ain't it cute? <laughs> so, I wanted to fill y'all in about something that's going on. on they actually have, we have a dispute going on against us, saying they didn't receive it. When was it? Uh, April. I don't remember April when it was. April 2021. They're saying they, they're saying they have not received their item. Mm -hmm. And... We have till January 2nd to respond, which I just did. Yep, January 2nd to respond, which actually just, just did. She, uh, she went in there and found that it was delivered and has confirmation, and we just put it through. And it's uh, guess we'll wait on eBay. Why they waited? It's past the 30 days. We give a 30 day money back return guarantee. Also, after that 30 days, also, I mean it's April. Yeah, you're it's talking about April, May, yeah. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Eight months. Oh, I didn't get my item. <laughs> Anyway, this is going to be a case closed situation, but I'll keep y'all updated on the progress. I think they're seven dollars. Oh, guess what this is from? Paw Paw Pottery. You know what's really funny? Huh? You actually look really good in that hat, even though it's a girl hat. <laughs> Drack of pose. There you go. You had to get it, didn't you? All right, I was, I guess I was so hungry hungry, and also excited about the eBay thing that we got to where I didn't show you our food, but she got meatloaf. I got and a burger. And mashed potatoes. And mashed potatoes. I got a burger and fries. So, but I'm, yeah, and she bought some goodies. I did. I bought some goodies. I got some Buckeyes and some pants, some Buckeyes, a, a Clemson pair of pants, and um, a coffee, a, a coffee mug that says "I love you to the moon and back." It's wrapped inside the pants, which is actually a genius, by the way. All right, well, we hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for coming along on the ride, the adventure. Um, there's a uh, Whatever goes on with the eBay thing, I'll keep y'all posted. <coughs> I think we're uh, doing me. good. Yeah, she still got a little little mess going on, but she's she's not contagious anymore. <laughs> no, she's no. good. The CDC just recently said that now you only have to quarantine five days. Yes. So if y'all haven't I've... figured out already, she had COVID, and yeah. she's been out way longer than that. <laughs> yeah. Um, she had fever what two days? Uh, yeah. And, and it didn't have anything and the doctor told her she could go out today so she's good yep it's been seven days yep and they said up that but that i am staying out of work a little bit longer because i need to get rid of the cough because 
I work with people's medicine. I don't think it's a good idea. Even though I'm not contagious, nobody wants you, even though I cover my mouth and I wear a mask and I sanitize, mm -hmm. you know, I'm trying to be a little bit smarter about it, but I will go back to work next week. No. I'm going to let the full 14 days go before I go back to work. No, I, I think that that's the this, smart thing to do. The COVID thing, it's confusing a lot of people. <laughs> they, they keep going through one thing and then another thing. It was two weeks and then it was seven. Well, it was, well, it was, two, it uh, was 14 days. 14 days. Then it was then, 10 days. Then it went to 10 days. Then it went to 7. Then it went to 7. Now it's only 5. Yesterday, is, they passed it for 5 days. So, I honestly don't think Tomorrow, they, it might they be know. 2. Who it knows? It might be 2 tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> but, yeah. It is what it is. But, uh, again, we thank you for coming along with us. I hope you enjoyed it. And, um, y'all get ready for... New Year's. Is it going to be New Year's Day we do the uh, gender reveal or New Year's I think Eve? That's a great idea. New Year's Day? New Year's Day. New Year's Day. So y'all look forward to that. Until next time, folks, you got anything else? Take care, folks. Take care, folks. So I am back at the house and I, and I wanted to give a big congratulations to old school picker Chris. I checked his uh, YouTube. He was going for 2,100 subs before the new year, and he hit that gold. I just checked while ago. So, um, congratulations, Chris, and I hope you continue to climb. Anybody that has not got, went to Chris's page, Old School Picker, you need to go over there and check him out and show him some love and support. I think you'll be glad you did. He does a lot of step-by-step um, -step eBay things with bolos and all that good stuff and i think you'll really enjoy it he's great people and couldn't ask for anything else he's genuine folks as old he would say picker. old school picker, picker out hey guys thanks for watching this video hit that thumbs up if you like this video hit the subscribe button if you would like to watch some more videos and hit that notification bell if you want to know when we upload new videos have a great day guys 35, I'm gonna be able to be 35, now 40. 40, I'm gonna be able to be 40, now 40, 40, 40, 40, I'm gonna be able to be 40, now 5. 45, I'm gonna be able to be 40.